Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. This is Amy Jo and I'm super excited about this video because I have a brand new Play-Doh playset for you. This is Disney Frozen Sled Adventure. Okay, let's open it up and see what we have here. Okay, let's take a look at everything. So obviously it's called Sled Adventure, so there's a sled. <laughs> this is like the sled that Anna and Kristoff were riding in. Okay, and I think it's an extruder. Hmm, how does that fit together? Whoa, look at that. There's a mold on the bottom. That is like a big cape. There's a mold here. There's tons of molds on the side of the sled. We get to make an Olaf. How cool is that? Aw, oh, that's gonna be cute. Here's the little extruder. This is like the extruder panel. The part that fits through here, like that. And of course we have my favorite, Princess Anna. And I believe that we'll be decorating her dress with Play-Doh. Sven, and he is a cutter, he is a cutter on the bottom, so kind of like one of those pizza cutters. And then we have lots of Play-Doh. Purple, orange, sparkly white, sparkly pink, and green. I wanted to show you a close-up of Anna. It looks, it looks a little like Anna. <laughs> Her face is a little kooky looking, but that's okay. And here's Sven, and... Let me show you Olaf too. Oh, you keep sliding farther away from me. Okay, so now let's open up our Play-Doh and have some fun. Okay, I figured out the sled extruder, so actually it was really easy. This little pink piece just clipped into the bottom, and this is where we will put the Play-Doh. So we press it in here, close it, and it will come out here. So that's actually a really small <laughs> extruder. It'll probably take us a while to make anything with it, but that's okay. And then put this piece onto Sven. That clips into the sled, like so. Whoops, I popped it right off of him. There we go. And then we can just pull him around. I can pull on Sven and it will pull the sled. Whoosh. I would like to start by making Olaf. So I have some of the white sparkly Play-Doh. And I'm gonna press this into both sides of the mold to make sure that we get enough Play-Doh so that he has good detail. Okay, then we need his arms. Press the mold together. <laughs> All the extra Play-Doh's coming out. So let me just pull that off. And we'll press it again. Ooh, it looks like I have his arms a little high. See that? This is where they're supposed to go. So let's do that again. And I'll be, I'll be more careful this time. I'll pay closer attention to where his arms go. Ooh, get back in there. Are we ready? Oh, hey, that turned out pretty cool. Looks kind of weird because his eyes and his carrot nose are white but we might be able to fix that. Otherwise, I would say that looks a lot like Olaf. Okay, I definitely want to try to make Olaf look more like Olaf, so I have a little bit of orange Play-Doh, and I'm going to press that down into the mold where his nose goes. <laughs> there. And I also have some black, and I'm gonna take two tiny little pieces and put them right where his eyes go. This is so much harder than it looks. The little mold is tiny, like the space for the eyes and nose are really, really small, so it's kind of tricky. Okay, now I'm gonna try his nose again. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with his three buttons. Okay, so here is what it looks like. And now I'm going to take our Olaf and, oh, I hope this works. Put him back in the mold, press down. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, 
okay, pretty good. He looks more like Olaf for sure. Okay, so you know what I was just thinking is we could take some brown Play-Doh and we could cut this part off and put brown in the mold and see if we can give him his little sticks. Okay, so I have some brown Play-Doh and I'm gonna press that right there. We'll take Olaf again. Put him back in the mold. All right, that definitely looks like Olaf. Now let's use some Play-Doh to decorate the sled. Hmm, maybe we should make Princess Anna a cape too. Since a lot of these look like snowflakes, I'm gonna use more of the white sparkly Play-Doh, but I don't wanna use it all because I want to make sure that I leave some to make some snow for Olaf to stand in. There's a pretty snowflake. That one's really pretty too. Can you guys see all the details on that? There, that's probably a better look. And we can place that one right in the side of our sled as well. Before we get too much of our sled decorated, I wanna make sure that we use this mold down here. That way when we lift this up and down, everything won't fall out. So I think that this is a hat for Princess Anna. So let's do that next. Oh, well that's a cool mold. It'll fit right on her head. Oops, <laughs> gotta press it down a little bit harder. That looks pretty good, but I think it needs a little bit. Whoa, come back, hat. Needs a little bit of detail. That Play-Doh's sticky. Let's use some white Play-Doh to put some trim around the front of Princess Anna's hat. Just gonna roll it out like this and press it right to the front. There. Okay, so now that we have her hat done, I feel like we should do her cape before we decorate the rest of the sled. So we don't have to put it on her right away because I also wanna work on her skirt. So let's just use some of the purple Play-Doh and we'll make the cape and then we'll just lay the cape down and we can put that on her in a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna press that in one more time and see if I can get a little more detail. Okay, I think that is a little bit better. Okay, now we can go back to making a few more of the little snowflake molds that are on the side of the sled. This purple Play-Doh is really sticky. Let's take a little break from that and go back to Princess Anna. I have some of the pink sparkly Play-Doh and we are going to press that up into the bottom of Anna's dress. Actually, we're going to need a little more than that. And then we'll take this piece and press this through. Oh wait, I just thought of something. Let's do it like this. So we're gonna watch here and here and here. And Play-Doh should come out of those little slits that are in the bottom of her skirt. Actually, let's see, maybe if I take her hat off, I can press down on her head. I peeled away the rest of the excess Play-Doh from the bottom, and now what we can do is, I was thinking it might be cute to kind of roll these up like this, and then we can use the extruder to make a piece to go along the bottom. Mm, I don't know, I don't really like that. Let's press them down like this. I think that's better. Now we can try out the extruder and see how that works. Press a little bit of Play-Doh in here, it's very small, so. Not much is gonna fit. Then we take 
the top of the sled, press it down and watch right here. Oh, that worked really well. So we can cut that little piece off and use that to decorate part of Anna's dress. I repeated the process a couple of times to create some more of the long white tubes of Play-Doh. And now I'm adding it to the edges of Anna's cape so that it will match her hat. Oops, and I knocked her hat off. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think about that? I think that looks pretty cute. Okay, so here is a closer look. press her cape up a little bit higher. I still think we need to add something down at the bottom. I know what we can do. We'll take the extra piece of the white Play-Doh. And what I did is I cut off the pink that was hanging over the edge. And we can add this just like that. Okay, I think she looks pretty good. I want to show you something neat about all of these princesses. So. This is the Anna that came with this set, obviously. And let me show you something. You can mix and match all of the different princesses. See how that works? So maybe now, let's see. Actually, this didn't look so bad, did it? <laughs> Maybe what we can do is use Snow White's skirt and make Anna a different dress. Okay, just like this. And then let's add the cape and hat. <laughs> so here is Anna in Snow White's dress. And actually, Let's let Snow White try the hat. She can't wear the cape because she has her own little capelet. I think it looks better on Anna. What if we switched Anna over to Belle? And we can put Snow White back and try Belle on Anna's dress. Let's try using the purple Play-Doh on Ariel's dress, and then we can try Anna on this one. This one I think actually might look really good because this is very similar to the color of Anna's sleeves. So if we do the purple color that matches the cape and the hat, this one might look pretty good. I know this looks really messy. I'm gonna show you a trick. That's the trick. You can use Play-Doh to pull away excess Play-Doh. You just have to do it really carefully. Okay, so here is how Ariel's dress turned out. Now let's give them a swap. So we'll take Anna, put her here, find her little hat and her cape. There. Okay, so not bad. I do want to take a look at this star extruder shape and see how that looks. So let's try that. And then I wanna show, oh, I love that one. That would actually be really good decoration for one of the skirts. Let's put that right around the bottom of this one. And then that will kind of tie in with the trim that is on this and the hat. So the cape and the hat, now everything matches or coordinates, maybe it coordinates. <laughs> this blue doesn't really match anything, but I think the green looks really good with her um, sleeve. I like Ariel's skirt on Anna. Now we have Anna all dressed and in the sleigh and now Sven is going to pull her and he's also gonna cut this Play-Doh because that is a cutter. Let me just show you how that works. See that? Isn't that cool? Now, if you don't have Play-Doh in front of Sven, he can just pull Anna around. Here they go. Oh, Olaf jumped in the sled. <laughs> there they go again. 
Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the Play Doh sled adventure. If you'd like to see more Play Doh videos, you can let me know by clicking on the like button. And leave me a comment and tell me your favorite part. Was it making Olaf or did you like seeing all the different princesses swapping dresses? I'd love to know. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DCTC. We do toy reviews. DCTC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>